All right, jumping into another paradox ending. We are gonna go to Sunlift Waterscape. I'm gonna close the gate, reopen it, and we are gonna take on the flame without weakening it first. I should note, I completely messed up the last paradox ending. Um, big mistakes. So I, uh, I, I was so stupid. I forgot that I just need, to, I just need to reopen Brescia Ruins. Uh, and then everything will be restored. I started playing through the entire game again. Not what I was supposed to do. Uh, <laughs> but it's what we did. So, I, I reopened the gate. We're good. We just have to take on a giant uh, flan here. Maybe. I don't know. But if the world does end here, my future should never have happened. Which means there must be a way to stop them. So, what is it? What's wrong? The daughters of the Sundered Cocoon are sacrificed to beasts of warp time itself. The pillar crumbles to ash and sand. And down to earth, the cocoon does fall. What? What? Sarah. Sarah! Sarah! Same power as you. Time to follow Sarah. Why? Why did she react the way she did? Wow. That is one gigantic monster. Well, hello, Snow. Long time no see. if I can win this fight. I don't know. I, I think it should be easy, but I really don't know. Oh, do I still get Gorgon opposite then? Oh, I do. Nice. Bro, no shot. Dude's got 100k HP. Like, that's so easy. simple. This is ridiculously easy. Dude just got cooked alive. I feel like Atlas is harder.
Nice. Got a perfect in everything. Oh, we got Bone Crystal though, so that's gotta be a high level enemy. Just won't stay dead. Let's go. Or is this like a storyline thing where we gotta we gotta like go back again? Is that really it? There's no way. Although it, it took a few of our hits, so maybe that is the the way it is. Listen, hotheads who can't back down don't last long on this planet. <laughs> maybe. Sometimes you gotta make a stand. You're not listening to me. Humans aren't strong. They die easy. Well, some of us are tougher than others. Ah, oh, this all seems familiar. Maybe this is just all part of the regular story. You got a name? I feel like the flan should have like a million HP. Like that's the thing that's throwing me off. This is no. And this is snow. And we're getting married. It's on hold for now. You know, somehow I didn't expect you to be such a hothead. All I hear is what a great guy Snow is. And look where you are, all the way in the future. I'm sorry, who's the hothead? What were you thinking bringing Sarah out here? Listen, Snow. <laughs> Guess what, Lightning? I found Snow again. He hasn't changed a bit. Still as reckless as ever, still doing his own thing. To think I spent all that time worrying about him. Stupid me. Guess I'll never learn. And that's how we got here. Now it's your turn. Why did you up and leave Sarah? What are you doing fighting here in the future? You really want to know? <laughs> I asked, didn't I? Lightning appeared in my dreams, too. Can you believe it? You saw lightning? She told me I had to protect Cocoon, so I started jumping through time, checking things out. I learned that the giant jelly bean back there knocks Cocoon down. You mean the flan we just fought? Uh-huh. According to the stories I heard back in my own time, Cocoon was brought down by war. Well, there's more than just one cause. Did you see what it was doing, that flan? It's melting the crystal of the pillar, bit by bit. But Vanille and Fang, they're inside it. Yeah, so Cocoon starts to get unstable. People feel the tremors and begin to panic. Next thing you know, everyone's fighting each other. It's consistent with what I know, sort of. I can't believe lightning appeared in your dreams as well. She told you to protect Cocoon's pillar. So she must want you to save Vanille and Fang. Like I said, sometimes you gotta make a stand. I don't have a choice. My mission is to stop that thing for good. Snow's here because of something Lightning said in his dream. What else does he know? Let's defeat the plan. In any case, with Snow on our team, we can do anything, right? I bet we can even beat that giant plan. Hey, sir. You're coming around in my way, I think. Let's do it. Let's turn back and finish that jelly bean off once and for all. Okay. No, have you forgotten already? We ran because it was too strong. We ran because that's what the story wanted us to do. Thousands of flan appearing out of nowhere, and they're fusing and creating a beast that shouldn't exist. Could it be a paradox? <laughs> if it is, we'll need to do some traveling to fix it. Which means you've got to find an artifact first. Lightning, did you meet Snow in his dreams? Is there a reason why you can only talk to us when we sleep? Snow hasn't changed one bit, even though it's been years since I last saw him. He's still as hot-headed as the day we said goodbye. It makes me so mad. It's a relief, too. I've been caught up in the fate of the world for so long. It feels good to worry about the simple stuff. Being with Snow helped me forget about what the future might hold. All right, defeat the giant flan. Let's do it. 
Let's do it. Let's believe in ourselves and let's do it. There are so many little plans. Where are they all going to? We follow them straight to the artifact. It could happen. No, we can't. No one's like he's up for it. Should we give it a shot and see what happens? Fight his royal rightness. Let's do it. There's an argument that if I die here, I should probably wait until I uh, have my uh, Pharaoh links. Right now, I'm just going for it. Wait, he's healing? What? That's lame. Perfect. Perfect time in there. And then we'll go Smart Bomb again. I'd like to see if I can get some Saboteur stuff in. I don't know. Oh, is he already... Dude, he's already almost dead. Like, this is actually crazy. I was gonna chill for a bit and, uh... Go for a stagger. I don't know if I have to. Yeah, he got deleted. That was so easy. Vitality crystal. That's cool. Oh, we get immediately kicked out. It's like, ooh, we shouldn't have done that. Paradox active. New location unlocked and everything. Belong to the flan, a flan controlled, flan friendly, and flan. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Sarah and Noel once defeated a massive flan, but the act triggered a paradoxical backlash and filled the breadth of cocoon with gelatinous organisms. From among them rose the most powerful flan to ever exist. The entire world quailed beneath its tyrannical pseudopod. Would all of cocoon be devoured by this immense flan potentate? Let's, let's see. <laughs> so goofy. Upon a time in a faraway land, there was a giant forest, Kubo. There was plenty of water in the vibrant woods, and all the monsters lived happily together, Kubo. The monsters love to test their strength, and sometimes their games got a little rough. But even so, they all got along fairly well, Kubo. One bright and sunny day, a mean flan came along and declared himself to be the king of the forest, Kubo. The flan stood as high as the clouds in the sky, so none of the monsters disobeyed him, Kubo. King ordered his royal subjects to shower him with gifts from all corners of the world, Kubo. In return, he promised to banish humans from their domain, and he would create a kingdom where monsters ruled the land, Kubo. <laughs> I told you we'd just be able to sneak in. Hey, Sarah, how do I look? Just like a monster? The transformation spell worked like a charm. No one can tell who we are. Mog, now we'll need the wonder honey. Can you go find Dude, some? what is going on? Kubo, you go. Hurry. The king was even bigger than the giant flan we defeated in the past, Kubo. So we all came up with a marvelous plan, Kubo. Looks about the same size, actually. Into monsters and sneak in unsuspectedly. Then we would present the king with the delicious flan, Kubo, and he would say, Incredible! And then he would keel over and die on the spot. We're going to serve up a dish of poison flan to his royal highness. Fight flan with flan, as they say. It's a flawless plan, Kubo. Hey, what's taking so long? Where's that wonder honey? We also need some hoax herb and exquisite sugar, you know. And don't forget the rotten cheese. <laughs> Why do I have to do all the work? 
going to be the first to get a taste of my poison plan, Kabow! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my good! Oh my goodness, dude! No, no, what's what's going on? I don't even get to know if it worked. Lame, lame, lame. All right, that's fine. All right, let's open gate. This is where we messed up last time. I just didn't reopen the gate. Like it, it's kind of embarrassing. Huge mistake. Also worth noting. Um, uh, where is it? Er uh, Erba, 200 AF. Uh, my fault. I forgot to activate the Paradox Scope. Huge mistake on my part. But that is going to wrap us up for today. We just we're doing one Paradox uh, at a time. Uh, when we come back, we will do the Erba Paradox and see what's up there. But thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.